Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of American over here in Germany. Today my guest is... Paul Kane from uh, Belfast Whiskey Week. Thank you very much, Jason, for having me on. Very good, and hello to all the people that are watching this on the review and all the people that are also watching this live. Now, Paul, introduce yourself. Who are you and what is the Belfast Whiskey Week? So, Jason, um, yeah, I, look, I, I run Belfast Whiskey Club, first and foremost. That's, that's what it's all about. You know, we've been a club going for about five years now in Belfast. Lots of people involved there, not just from Belfast itself, but across Northern Ireland and, and some people from the south as well. Um, and look, it's a friendly, non-profit um, club, which determines, I suppose, its own avenues, its own, its own tastings. Um, and and they're all unique. So every tasting we do between two and three tastings, um, two and three tastings a week. Uh, oh wow! Um, okay. Although, although Jason, what I would say, see that whiskey club there? That's yeah. not me. That's not you. I did not know that. I'm sorry. Well, Let's stop that real quick. I'm just reading and trying to think. But Jason, do you know what? See that whiskey club there? You know we can plug that. Oh, that's so Northern that's Ireland. You're right. Oh, I'm so sorry. What's your that. What's your um? website's name for the belfast so, whiskey club yeah it's okay listen our web our website is just the facebook so the facebook handle there ah, for us, uh, okay good uh, we'll we'll talk uh, about whiskey. that so keep on talking <laughs> but listen no that's okay because i'll reference that look in idl um idl who are uh, obviously the biggest um you know drink irish uh, whiskey and um, drinks producers have that as a website and they're run in northern ireland by a guy called joe mcgowan who's a great ambassador for Red Brass and Jemison and Meth Manus. Um, he's a fantastic ambassador. And they run a club, which isn't a club, but it is a, it's an opportunity for people to, to drink those products. Well, Belfast Whiskey Club is purely independent. So it's purely independent, and we allow, um, you know, for every tasting we do, it's unique. So we never taste the same liquid twice. We're always oh. out there with new stuff. So we're always looking for the next whiskey or old whiskeys. We're trying to find whiskeys that you maybe you can't find in the, sh in, in the shop. And we're tasting them, and then we're we're scoring them, we're giving them. So this is right then, okay? <laughs> does yeah, that's us there, yeah. So okay, there. excellent. So, so yeah, whiskey so cub Belfast. I'm sorry for that um, <laughs> mistake a moment ago. All right, interesting. No offense to that, because quite frankly, uh, we are you know, as I say, we're a bit of crack. You know, we're we're fun, but we're you know, we've got a serious group of members. Our members include, and Jason, just to let you know that the guys that are involved in our club are involved also in the industry as well. So we would have the likes of Jarlet from Equinville as a member of the club. Yep. We have I know him. Brandon, he's great. <laughs> yeah. Brendan Carty from Cologne. He's a member of the club. Yep. We've got had him on the show as well. <laughs> Jamie and Michael from uh, Jamie and Michael Morris from um, Hinch Distillery are in the club. And I know Michael had him on the on the show a while ago. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Philip Crawford from uh, Causeway Coast Reviews is in the club. Okay, I have I haven't met him personally yet. That's cool. <laughs> we've got we've, and, and, and and lots of I mean, lots of other bloggers as well. So we've got like um, Wild Irish is part of the club. Um, Whis uh, Whiskey and Obvious is part of the club. Um, we've got Mister Whiskey Nigel uh, Taylor part of the club. Uh, uh, Finn, um, go, you know, lots of pe lots of people. Uh, and Paul, yeah, could be a little louder. You want me to talk more? I don't know if it's more, but louder, yes. <laughs> what, is it too quiet? Do you know what yeah, that's what Tina says here. So, yeah, one of our whiskey experts, Irish whiskey experts from Germany here. And by the way, I just want to say hello to Blind Whiskey. That's Thomas. Michael Cully is here watching us. Look at that. Hi, Paul. Um, hey, Tina's there. Fabi's there. Whiskey Novice. Hi. Great to see you, Jim. Good job. Wow. Very, very good. So he's up there. He's, an, he's part of your club as well, isn't he? Yeah, so Jim gets Jim's gotten involved now. You know he's you know look, yeah. he's a local guy. He plays, listen, he plays great music. He plays in our local bar where we do our whiskey tastings. So mm -hmm. listen, Jim, Jim's all, you know he's always welcome to come to any of the tastings. He, he he's definitely making sure that he turns up. Turned up to Belfast Whiskey Week last year. Took part in lots of the events. Yeah, great guy. Hopefully you can hear him a wee bit better now. I just realised it was my microphone was uh, touching the, the, the surface and that's maybe causing the issue there. So I'm going to move my, my camera a wee bit. Right. Okay. And that's probably a wee bit better. But yeah, no, look, the, the club, that's what it's all about. That, that, that's where Belfast Whiskey Week comes from as well, because it came from me organizing all these tastings, two or three a month. People really enjoying it. And me wanting to set a set, you know, set myself a goal last year, which was uh, to run seven tastings in seven days. 
And I, when I told when I told when I told people about it, they were just like, "Nah, that's just wild." And I don't know if we could all cope with that. I don't think our livers could cope. So I put it out there. I put it out there in I think it was May time, uh, two thousand and nineteen, and I, and I said, "Listen, I'm going to do it." And when I put it out there on social media, um, I got I got a great response. But it was a response from the distilleries that was really positive. They phoned me. They contacted me and said, "Listen, can we get involved with what you're doing?" And I said, "Well, it's only in three weeks, four weeks time." Um, really, yeah, go ahead. And uh, by the time by the time the festival came around last year, we had uh, eighteen tastings across ten different you know ten days. So it, it really grew and and it got really big, and the audience was huge. So we had like um, I think we had close to five hundred people involved in the festival uh, from you know from di- you know different uh, parts of the country. Uh, we had people traveling up from Dublin, but then we had some tourists. So we had a lot of guys from the states involved. We had guys, you know, from Europe who who were coming over just for their holidays to Belfast and want to take part in in Belfast Whiskey Week. So, and again this year, it was about growing that. And obviously, I wanted to do it physically. So I wanted it to be in bars, restaurants. You know, a lot of our tastings were pairings. You know, there were, there was food involved. You know, we did bar bar, bar bourbon and burgers, or we did like you know uh, we had some nineteen uh, pre nineteen seventies whiskey with some nineteen seventies kind of food. Do you know what I mean? It was it was good fun. It was great to have that mix with a rum and Cuban night, uh, Cuban food night. But um, that would have been the same this year. We would have gone big again. We would have gone, you know, that that whole bar, restaurant, pub atmosphere. And I made a decision, yeah, about three months ago, two or three months ago, to either close it down this year because of the, the virus or, you know what, adapt, do it all online, open up to the world and just say, listen, Come ahead, get involved, have a bit of crack. I'll bring Belfast to your living room. Yep. You don't need to come to Belfast. Let, let's try and do something there. So it has massively, it organically, has grown. And and we're now at what are we at? We're 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 as of tonight, because there's a couple of there's a couple of exclusives we're going to talk about today with you, Jason, because I felt I let you down the other day. <laughs> and I thought we'll have some exclusives on Jason's show um to, to make him to make him, you know, feel special for that. But um, you know, we're going to be up up to about forty one uh, different individual tastings. Um, you know, by by the end of uh, this evening, that's a lot of tastings. We've got about four, we've got about thirty five different distilleries or brands involved. Should we take a look at the website now, and you can go through them, or what do you? Should that be? A Jason, you, you you work away. If you want to talk, if you want to go down that list, and we can talk about them, not a problem. You pick out the ones you want to talk about, and we can talk about what that's all about, and whether or not they've sold out already, and. You know, there's a there's a hell of a lot, and it, and it goes obviously it goes in order, and we've got Cologne there as the first one, yeah. And Cologne, look, Cologne have, you know, they sold out, and they sold out within the space of uh, a couple of minutes. It was um, less than an hour, I know that. <laughs> yeah, they sold out very quickly, and not just that, but we had to reintroduce Cologne, uh, so we put out more tickets, and again it sold out. So as an exclusive to you, Jason, oh. just to let you know that no one knows this. And only, it was only agreed with Cologne yesterday. Cologne are going to run a separate tasting throughout the festival. And it's only going to be for nine people. Okay. And it's going to be very exclusive stuff that they're going to be putting in there specifically just for those nine people. No one else will get the chance to taste that. What I would say is if you already have a ticket for Cologne, you'll be locked out of it. You know, So it's going to be nine individuals who haven't got a ticket yet for Cologne who will get the chance to, to, to come online with, with, with uh, Brendan and the lads. So that's your first exclusive. That, I think that's Thank important. You. You know? um, so yeah, so a bit, of, uh, you know, a bit, of, a bit of insight information there. And th- they're opening the festival. You know, I think they're t- mm-hmm. they took a big gamble there to open the festival at twelve o'clock on a Friday. You know, I, you know, is it is it the right time to drink alcohol? Who knows? But I think when we're online and we're, our market is is yeah, it's Northern Ireland, but it's also and and actually it's great, Jason, that we're talking. That the majority of people now purchasing tickets for the events are coming from Germany. Yeah, I know. Isn't it cool? <laughs> yeah, they're coming from Germany or they're coming from uh, America. And that's and I suppose that's twofold. One, you know, the, the ticket price is about right. And for for Germany and America, there'll be a very small charge just to send over. You know, there'll be a separate charge. And you know what? We're, we're going to make it worthwhile for, for people in, in, in Europe and America get involved. Hey, David. <laughs> hey, David, thanks for coming on. Um, you know, so we're, you know, we're, we're making it very accessible for those in the UK, for those in, in, in Ireland, um, you know, it's free delivery anyway. So they really should be on board. Um, yep. I would like to see the, a lot more of the guys in the south 
picking up you know tickets um to try stuff but um but it's great to see the germans so many germans message me saying can can you deliver to germany not a problem we have our own little um actually we have our own little um irish whiskey lovers or irish whiskey friends Super. facebook group and we posted it there um as soon as it came out and was like come on this is something we need to have um so that was the first one the second one is going to be introduction to scots whiskey isn't yeah. it irish whiskey exclusive i mean you're not irish are you <laughs> no so, so no jason look I'm, I'm scottish and i think one of the biggest things about the club is that we we just don't drink we just don't drink Irish whiskey. We drink whiskey from everywhere. If, if, if they if they make if they make whiskey, we drink it. So the introduction is Scotch whiskey, although that's not listed there right now. But you'll notice there's nine uh, so there's nine unique Scotch whiskeys. Wow, nine Scotch whiskeys. And what what we mean by that that we're going to be introducing people to the six regions of Scotland, the the three main uh, types of whiskey that, that that we drink there. You know, we're looking at sherry bombs. We're looking at the peated whiskeys, the sweet whiskeys. We're looking at all of that. Okay. And it and it's whiskey, to be frank, that people you know want to taste. It's not going to be just off the shelf bottles. It, it's interesting, you know. Um, it's interesting whiskey. You know, it's going to be stuff that we that we want people to drink. They might not find it ever again, but we want them to drink it. You know. Cool. Uh, so although it says introduction to Scotch, maybe that's the wrong word. Maybe I need to rephrase the title. Maybe I need to say just exploring Scottish whiskey because yeah. that's what it is. We're exploring. You're not going Scot to have ba Balvini, twelve year old. <laughs> No! Do you know what we are going to have, though? Springbank 12-year-old Burgundy, full cast. Ooh, you know that's I mean? exclusive. Nice. <laughs> you know I mean, we're going to do stuff like that. We're not going to just mess about and just put in, you know... And really see, if I read the if I, I just read the title, I was like, nah, next. No. <laughs> so maybe you need to... <laughs> I know. And do you know what? Rediscover <laughs> Scottish whiskey, yeah? Yeah, read it. And do you know what? One of the, oh, look who's so here. Oh, Serge, yeah, he's a good one. He's, he's a, great, isn't he? Mm -hmm. um, but I think one of the things about about it is, you know, people, you've got to remember, this is me. There's a couple of our guys involved. You know, we've got Phil Crawford, we've got uh, Jamie Cotter, Nigel Taylor, a guy called Johnny Lloyd. There's hey, a group Paul. Of us, there's a, Paul, how's it going? There's a group of us involved in, in the Whiskey Week. And, and yet, there's a lot of work to be done. Yep. So uh, people are still saying, I'd like to know more about that. I'd like to, well, that's okay. So we need to get more information out there on some of the sessions. But you know what? See the sessions that I wrote the least about. For example, say the 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 Waterford session. I think I wrote the word. You you just have to put the word Waterford any place at the moment, and it's hyped without. I mean, come on, people are asking me, Jason, Jason. <laughs> but you know, there's the, the there's. I mean, certainly, you know, for, to sell out eight events within the space of minutes was very impressive, and you know, the, it didn't take long for them to to high search away. It didn't take long for them to to, to sell out, and I think that. It's because people will understand what's gone into some of the tastings. You know, the pre nineteen seventies tasting that did not that did not last long. You know, in terms Which of how was that here pre seventies? Yeah, it's way down in the list, but it's like you know, pre nineteen seventies Irish whiskey. We're talking about whiskey from the fifties and the pre nineteen eighties. Was it Scotch as well? There's pre nineteen eighties Scotch. Now that's yeah. pretty impressive. So we're looking at you know you're looking at nineteen uh, sixties. Uh, oh, it's Royal Irish Pastor. whiskey even. Ooh. We'll yeah. Share the screen so, again, yeah. Thank you. Well, listen, this, uh, the, the, you know, there's, there's ones that they're, they talk about it themselves. Yeah, pre 1970s. So we're looking at a 30 year old powers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you know what's interesting that? The Pope, we, we, 1950. Oh, wow. What, Dungary, 1964? I've never even heard of. What's Dungary? Yeah. You know, I, I spelt that Close wrong. Close distillery, Actually, probably, huh? Yeah. You know, it's Dun it's Dungari, and it's actually I spelled it wrong, um, oh. and that's my fault. But it's D Dungari, um, 1964. But see, see that, see that lineup. We we bottled yesterday. We bottled the 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 30 year old powers, and you know, it's it's bottled in the 70s, but it's obviously it's predating that. You know, it's 30 years um, before that, and it's and we we cracked open the we cracked open the the bottle yesterday doing the. the Doing the bottling, you know, into the miniatures, and you ought to have smelt this. This smell was unbelievable. We opened it. We we had masks on because we're trying to like keep everyone safe. COVID, mm -hmm. rubber gloves on, masks on. And I could, all I could smell was the heavy pot still coming through. It's absolutely brilliant. But um, it's value for money. We're we're we're, we're trying to get people to taste whiskey that they're probably never going to taste again. Probably never have tasted. Uh, we've got conducting that tasting. Is uh, Finon O'Connor? I don't know if you've come across him. He's a, a you know he's a historian when it comes to Irish whiskey. He is the 
you know, he's one of the he's one of the go-to guys when we talk about it. Um, you know, we talk about Irish whiskey. It's yeah, here the Pogue is the Pappy Brown. That, <laughs> you, know, you know what's really interesting? A lot of people are aware of like the nineteen fifty one bottle, but yeah. the nineteen fifty bottle. We I, we don't know anyone's ever drank it, so we don't know that anyone's ever. It's past number four uh, from Kilbegan back in the day. So you know, it's this is going to be interesting. You know, whether or not it tastes shit or not, I mean, I, I don't know, but it's going to be a it's going to be a historical moment, you know, and 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 uh, and us and us drinking it uh, together collectively. So yeah, so that's one of the good. You know, that's one of the uh, that sold out very quickly, I think. You know, and and I don't know if I released another ticket for it, but what I am aware is that. The, the demand for something like that, you know, people, like, listen, people do, Jason, people get caught up with this um, new release stuff all the time. They're like, and, and fair play to Waterford, the way they're playing the game. But look at Dingle, and again, the way they did it, people get, or JJ Corey, people get to that point, they're just like, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want it. But they forget. They have, have all of them. Fear of missing yeah. out, FOMO. <laughs> Red Breast Dreamcast. People forget about what happened in the past. People forget how good Irish whiskey was so we're looking at a lot of that 1970 stuff. They're mothballed or this, you know, um, disassembled um, distilleries. They're gone. They're gone for good. They won't be coming back, mm-hmm. and we've got new ones coming. But but it's good looking at the old styles. It's good looking at the old kind of uh, the way in which we, we produced uh, whiskey here in, in Ireland. You know, so yeah, that's a good one. There's there's, there's many on the list, but I, I would say. Yeah, I, I fondly want. I I don't even have a ticket for it. That's how. <laughs> I don't have a ticket for it. I, don't, I, as the organizer, don't even have a ticket for it. That's well, that think, says something. Yeah. The honesty about it, you know, we we, we put up, you know, we, we we can only put limited tickets on things, and what, you know, when they, when they sold out, we were just like, yeah, okay. You know, I mean, fair enough. Um, and there's guys, there's guys there who they're messaging me, and particularly when it comes to you know the the really more unpopular ones. They See you, want, Jim. I'll take care, Jim. Thank you. Um, yeah, so you know that's what we, you know. We want to offer this to people. We want to offer this off the opportunity. So yeah, was there anything that caught your your eye, Jason, when you had a look at the list? Let's go back to the list and take a look here. One second, please. I'm still the pre seventy tasting, but I can go back here and take a look at the list. Um, what caught my eye here? Let's go from the top down. Um, come act was something with the launch party that sounded pretty really cool, to be honest. Um, you know what? Right. That that is pretty awesome, and what that's about, Jason, is um, you know, you know what really got me? There's a lot of distilleries in, in, in Ireland. There's a lot of distilleries, and there's a lot of brands. But what's nice to see is distilleries, you know, now really pushing on and you know bringing out their own their, their own whiskey. Finally, their own whiskey. Yep. And you know what, Connet, fair play to them. Had a beautiful phone call with the, the guys at Connet. They wanted to launch their whiskey, so their first ever whiskey coming out of County Mayo. Will be launched at Belfast Whiskey Week. Do you know what's even more impressive? The fact that they sent out some uh, samples uh, of their their range out to some of the bloggers and some of the, the you know the the writers about you know whiskey and didn't, I didn't send... get any. I have to talk with the no, guys no. there. But, hey. but, but listen, no, but listen. <laughs> they, they, they sent out they sent out some really good project, you know, really good uh, whiskey, but they didn't send out their new stuff because that's how much they were concerned about launching the product. You know, um, at the festival, so we have a pure as a pure exclusive. You know, to the festival, it's going to be their own liquid. Anyone who joins that whiskey tasting is going to get brand new Connacht whiskey. No one else has tasted it until we till we have it in the tasting, and that says something. That's yeah. a big coup for the festival. That's you know, that's putting the festival on the map for re- releases. And to top that off, so Connacht are going to do that. Connacht are going all out, bells and whistles, giving you a taste of what what's coming. They're going to, you know, and I think they're going to be launching their, their actual product there and then, you know, so potentially to buy there and then. And do you know what? If Waterford can go out and do, you know, the, the three bottle release last week and make such a, you know, m- massive big deal of it. A tsunami I almost in the, in the yeah. marketing, yeah. I would suggest, I would suggest tasting a very bespoke one off, you know, you know, the, the first ever, you know, release of, um, of, of Connacht. Hundred and you know, it's been one hundred and ten years or something since there was a, a whiskey made in the west of Ireland. Um, I think that's a huge big deal. I do. I, th- I think it's a massive, massive deal, b- big deal for the festival. And then you've got other ones who are releasing stuff during the festival. So Dingle are releasing a brand new whiskey during the festival. Will Graham be doing it? Who's going to do it then? Um, who's going to be doing it? Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, so I don't. It's the new master distiller there. Yes, yeah, so uh, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that the, 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 that he is actually. Put, I think he's going to be the one doing it. I think Dave might be in, uh, involved somehow. Yeah. But yeah, but I definitely think it's going to be the the, 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 the Dingle experience. Yeah, let's see. What yeah, you know. Dingle experience, and I think I think what Dingle are doing. Well, I know what Dingle are doing. So there's going to be a list <laughs> up there. There's going to be a list going up there um, over it's the next David couple Cummins, of days. David Cummins says, "Yeah, Dave's going to be." It doing does. It. it does. But you know what? I wrote that thinking that it was going to be Dave. Um, <laughs> it's not. I think it's going to be the distiller. And I think oh. what's even more more impressive is the fact they're going to launch a new pot still. Um, so they're going to launch a new pot still at the festival. Um, and again, pure exclusive uh, to, 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 to the festival itself. Um, that would be really batch number four today? then now, wouldn't it? Oh, but well, that's what I'm saying. We're now going to, we're, we're, we're now going to be launching something new. Okay. So yeah, we, we, you know it's it's going it's going to be interesting. There's there's two actual releases for um for Dingle that that, that week. So it's going to be it's going to be really interesting to see. Um, who else has got new stuff? We've got Red Arrow. They're going to be releasing their product. I know they've released it at the moment. You can buy it in certain places, but they're going to release during the the festival. They're also putting out their um a cast strength version as part of the festival. Um, who was during it? the Red Arrow. Now, Red you know, so, Arrow. So, so, where are they here? Yeah. So they're they're actually if you you won't see them specific unless you went to the keep going up a little bit. Yeah. Stop there. Stop, Stop. there. Just below, just below the red breast. Just, just below, below the red that breast. That would be here. The world yeah. whiskey. Oh, yeah. okay. Interesting. Exclusive. Tell me more. The so worldwide whiskey exclusive. There's only twenty of these boxes left. There was a hundred boxes in total. But what we have there is. What we have there is uh, the list of distilleries who are putting liquid into a bo uh, box, which you can't purchase anywhere at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be product from IDL, product from uh, Cologne, product from Dunville's, Hinch, uh, Double Liberties, Dingle. Uh, there's a Mills, Bush, says, yeah. mm -hmm. Well, there's a Bush, there's a Bushmills liquid in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and you know that you know Asterix, but it's definitely Bushmills liquid in there. Uh, and then there's the Red Arrow. So. I think that nine different products which you can't at the moment purchase in a shop and, and some of them you will never be able to purchase in a shop. I think that's going to be quite important that there are 50 mil samples of stuff that is very exclusive and only exclusive to this festival. Um, I think the price point commands it as well. I think the price point is just yeah. about right for the amount of liquid you're getting. Um, and I know, I, I, look, we pre-sold 50 of them before we even released any of the dates. So they've gone on sale again to general release and yeah i think there's 20 boxes left so it'd be nice to it'd be nice to complete that have 100 people having um having having those presentation boxes um come with a nice little set of glen care is, is it this bottle here that's the bottle but it's not that's not what's in the box so okay. that's the red arrow yeah so what I've i would never heard that before that, and uh, it looks absolutely fabulous doesn't it so that's yeah. the red arrow Got a, we've got a slightly different version of that in that box, okay. um, which is good. And they also they also feature in, in one of the other uh, tasting sets, which for you guys, particularly in um, you're interested in dummies, yeah. Um, oh, good. Thanks so much, David. Um, the um, the introduction to Irish whiskey box is a great one, I think, for anyone outside of Ireland who maybe doesn't get all of the the, the Irish whiskey experiences. So we've got a box there, which is the uh, introduction to Irish whiskey. There's 17 different Irish whiskey products in there for, um, I think, for 65 pounds. 17 for one tasting. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to break that down. So that's going to take up the majority of a day. We've got a whole day really dedicated to that tasting alone. Uh, and we're going to run through with all the distilleries and brands that are involved. So 17 unique uh, products. And uh, we're going to be running through that day with those guys. But that's going to be very good. For everyone getting a, you know, who really wants to have a, a taste of um, of Ireland, of Irish whiskey, you know. Wow, a seventeen five CL samples, not bad. That's going to be heavy. <laughs> but Jason, is that not just like, is that not just like super value for money? Like yeah, I just think seventy euros. I mean, come on, seventy pounds. I'm sorry, but still, yeah, that's great. Quid. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think, you know, you, you you could spend that on a whole bottle, and what we're doing <laughs> it now starts at one and ends at eight. Amazing! Wow, take off a day from work. <laughs> yeah try try yeah try and do that <laughs> try and take the day off um but you know what, it's, it, it came to what 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 the reason for that box was quite simple 
the reason for that box is because we wanted to bring as much um, we want to bring as much taste to everyone, you know, give everyone as much value. And and there's so many, look, there's just so many different brands here who really want to get their name out. And they want to talk, but they're competing in the same kind of marketplace. And what we said was, you know what, if we can find somewhere where you can all fit, you can all get the same kind of cred, you know, there's no fighting, you're all getting a bit of the, the same bit of limelight, you know. Um, yeah, Tina, Tina's, got, Tina's got a good question. Now let's talk about the format. So there's going to be, there's two sides, that, well, there's actually three sides, but we'll talk about the first two sides of the festival. We're going to be running uh, the festival as a continuous uh, stream, so a continuous live uh, platform. It will run from 12 o'clock every day, and it will shut at 10 o'clock, all right? That's okay. con continuous uh, streaming. What will happen is we've got a program, obviously, you know, so at the moment there's between, you know, maybe four or five different tastings per day, and at different times in the day, those tastings will either run through the, the one format or just like in a normal festival, you get the chance to go somewhere else, listen to something else. So, you know, you'll break out. Some of those uh, tastings, maybe like of uh, Waterford, um, they might go into a very small private room. Maybe it's through a Zoom room and it probably will be something, um, you know, that type of format where they go off and they're, they're part of the festival, but they're somewhere else, you know? And the, and the normal big room, is that um, YouTube? Is that Facebook? Is that something no. totally different? Well, we're, we're, going to, we're, we're going to be running it through, um, at the moment we're testing sites. So the, te the test site that we're using right now, the one that we're going to, I think we're going to use, is uh, using Big Marker. So it allows us, you know, anywhere or anyone can get involved in that. All they need is a, is an, a phone or an iPad or a laptop. Um, and as long as they can get a URL, you know, they're on the internet, they don't need apps. You can download an app, but you don't need an app. It just runs through, a bit like StreamYard, very, very similar to that. But it allows us to have up to about four presenters at the one time um, on screen. Also allows us to have running conversation on the, the other parts of the screen. So we can have a live Twitter feed, we have a live public debate. We can also have like a pr pr private debate with the the... the the presenters, which is really important. So if you have a question, you want to, mm -hmm. yeah. So that'll run, and and because it's a festival, Jason, you know the the third element of this is that we have uh, comedians, musicians, DJs. It's a festival. Let's not think of this as just tasting whiskey and uh, and and enjoying whiskey. It's about having fun, being entertained. We want to entertain you. We want to bring Belfast to you, which means that we've got some of the best comedians from Belfast. We've got some of the best musicians from Belfast. You know, we've got um, musicians actually as far as Dublin, you know, as far as Dingle even. We've got uh, musicians from um, Glasgow. You know, we're, we're, we're pushing the boat out there. We, we, we want to be very inclusive. We want, we want people to have fun. So we've got about 25 different acts and they'll filter into the, the festival itself. So through that live medium. For those who don't want to drink whiskey though, Jason, and they just want to listen to music and listen to comedians, then there's going to, we, we, the way we filtered that is there's actually a parallel festival. There's a parallel festival running on this, which will you know run for a couple of hours by itself uh, each day to allow people just to you know they can just chill you know turn turn into the you know tune into the festival and have a bit of fun. Germans sometimes have problems with um, fast talking English speaking people. <laughs> I can slow it. I can slow it down. I am so sorry. Apologies for that. Do you know when you get excited, you just you rattle away. You know you yep. do. You rattle on. Um, but no. I, now, I think, what if someone doesn't buy a tasting set? Can they still somehow participate? Is that going to be um, open to the public, or is it more of a private type of thing? So, so it's not going to be open to the public. But I will, and we're going to put up a measured amount of tickets. So there's going to be a measured amount. How hey, Connor. Connor, there's going to be a measured amount of tickets that people can purchase for a very small fee, probably matter of a couple of euros say you know what i mean let's say one or two euros whatever it is <laughs> that people can then purchase a ticket for a day and come in and watch the festival excellent Not that, about, that's great mm -hmm. because, because jason i think i think what what is really good about that you know if you, if you buy one if you buy one ticket for one of the events then you have access to the festival go ahead have fun come and enjoy it um but there's going to be people out there i just want if they want to get involved they want to listen. They don't People want to in Canada is like sending alcohol to Canada. Kind of difficult, but they would love very, to. Very difficult. <laughs> very difficult. And if we can, and, and you know what? We've, we've actually, we're working with people just now in the States. When we sent, if we sent to the States for them to maybe help the Canadians out. <laughs> they if need we, a mule. 
even sending from America to Canada is almost impossible. <laughs> uh, it's it's you have to drive across the border and yeah. pretend that like you've just bought it in a shop or something. Yeah. I don't know yeah. how it works, <laughs> but it, it's difficult. And look, we, we want look, we want to be inclusive. We want to be inclusive. So if we can open that out and allow people to come in and listen, take part, ask questions of the distilleries, even though they don't have the liquid with them, yeah. then that, we want to be able to do that. We want to be super inclusive. Um, and do you know what? It, it's, it's refreshing, Jason, to, to be able to do something like that in this format. Because do you know what? If coronavirus hadn't pushed us to this state, we wouldn't be doing this. You know, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't, I'd be telling you to come to Belfast. I'd be saying, exactly. <laughs> go on a flight, come to Belfast. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I also want people to think about that. The long-term plan here is that this festival has longevity, that it pans out and it pans out year after year and becomes as bigger and bigger year after year. And I think, look, we've got, we've got at the moment, distilleries from around the world involved in this festival. So it's not just Irish distilleries. It's not just Irish brands. We've got some Scottish distilleries, Scottish brands, and we've got brands, you know, coming and, and distilleries there from Sweden. You even have bourbon, which I thought was amazing. So I'm going to. Oh, well, so to we have this. this. We have the we have the Buffalo Trace box, yeah. which is yeah. I mean, it's it's really the whole Buffalo range, and really, you know, that that people can go and uh, people can go and taste. Buffalo yeah, Trace the buff explosion. Yeah, I think I think we talk about we talk about price points. This is for fifty five quid. And we're getting nine, uh, nine uh, actually. Wow. Yeah, nine Buffalo Trace samples. Oh, I there's think probably that, a Stag Junior in there as well. There's a hundred percent. There's a Stag Junior in there. Yes. There's Anything well from, from Buffalo Trace Antique Collection? Uh, potentially. There's definitely. I would assume there's a there'll be at least something like that. At least one of them in there. Um, wow. You know, they, just just because of that would be worth it. I didn't even know no, that. Wow, amazing. You've got the. Way, yeah, you've got the Weller, you've got the Weller, the Weller Reserve as well in there. You've got, mm -hmm. do you know what? I, I think for people, that that's a bit of fun. You know, there's out of the out of the forty odd tastings now, there's going to be at least ten of them, which have got nothing to do with Ireland. That they're, yeah. they're, they're elsewhere. They're either Scottish whiskies, the world whiskies. You know, they're it's Swedish whiskey tasting. You know, it's Japanese. I mean, we have a Japanese Asian tasting, which. I think, look, Japanese, if you're talking about money, Japanese Japanese uh, whiskey is very expensive. It's a very expensive, um, you know, whiskey. And, unfor you know, unfortunately, it's very, very hard to, 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 to get. So what we try to do is, is we try to... Okay. Yeah, so it's, I think it comes under Asian. Um, okay. Is that an Asian tasting, is it? I think it... Can't can't remember off the top of my head where yep. there you go. Advanced, Advanced tasting, tasting Japanese and Asian whiskeys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm slow today finding them again. So many different offers. How many were there? Like forty two? Yeah, so forty odd. Yeah, forty, 40 odd. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's amazing what you're offering here. Yeah. But I think I think the Japanese look the Japanese one. There's nine again, nine samples, yeah. and in the main, it's, these aren't Japanese. These aren't blends. These are like we're looking for. We're looking for high end Japanese whiskey. We're I was looking to say for hundred and ninety quid. That was going to be very high end. Yep. So we're, you know, so we're looking at age, mostly age statement Japanese whiskies or the the, the big end Cavalans. Do you know what I mean we're looking at? We want we want it to be. Oh, we want it to excite people. You know, okay, yep. we, want, we want to excite people there. Uh, and are you going to write down the brands in a while, or are you yeah. just going to so leave you know it what, a little secret? There's no, there's no, some of them, some of them needs to be, I think, secret, but no, I think, uh, do you know what, just uh, I can list them off here because I took a picture of them yesterday before we bottled them. And, um, you know, so we did a lot of bottling yesterday with my friends at uh, Ecklenville Distillery. So let's have a wee look um, at what we did. We have for the Japanese selection. Okay, we have, we have a Nika uh, Miya Giko. Is that mm -hmm. how you say it? Yep. Yep. The twelve year twelve year old. We have the Cavalan uh, Moscatel, the Solist. Mm -hmm. um, we have a yummy. I know. We have a y Yamazakura nine year old uh, Sherrywood. We have a six year old uh, Yamazakura uh, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, wine wine cask. We have uh, an Omar. Um, one of the we have two Omars. Sorry, we have the Omar yep. with the Sherry. Uh, normal one, and then we have the the plum cast strength oh. uh, whiskey. So plum plum. They uh, changed plum. their name, didn't they? They're no longer called Omar. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so Nantour distillery. Have they changed yeah. it? Have they changed it completely? I'm not sure. <laughs> wow. 
Um, so, and then we've got a JB, we've got the GBA whiskey, which is the Byron. You know the one that you use for the. It went out for all the bartenders in Japan years ago. So, you know, there's some good whiskey there for people to go and taste. Uh, and again, it's a. I think each bottle. I mean, you know, some of those bottles are very expensive to go and buy personally, and it is to try and get people so they don't have to go and spend three hundred pound on a bottle of whiskey. They can spend, you know, close to two hundred euros, but they're going to get nine different tastes. Yep, a whole you know, they're going to, yeah, they're going to get a bread cool. of, uh, of flavor. Um, so you know, they're, 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 you know, we're opening it up there. We're definitely opening up the World Whiskey Box, which is an odd, interesting one. The World Whiskey Box is, um, you know, we've got Swedish whiskey, Dutch whiskey, um, South African whiskey, Indian whiskey, Australian whiskey, Japanese whiskey, Taiwanese whiskey, uh, and Canadian whiskey. Oh, and Welsh whiskey. There are the nine whiskeys in there. Oh, so, you know, we're, 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 we're trying to open that up um, for, for, for everyone. And mm -hmm. do you like that box, Jason? <laughs> do you like that? That is nice, isn't it? Yeah. That's one of the presentation boxes. So some of the boxes are bamboo. Oh, they're 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 uh, wooden bamboo uh, boxes. Yeah, very pretty boxes. Like, but um, yeah. So the introduction to the, uh, World... yeah, exactly. So, so introduction the... introduction to wall whiskey. Yeah, I think that's uh, a bit very far down at the bottom of the list. I think it's yep. close to the very bottom. Um. By my calculations, it should be the last one of the last ones. Introduce, yeah, we go. Um, sorry. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Or whiskeys, yeah. So, so again, look at the price point, Jason. Let's have a look at that. We forty three pounds. Yep. Well, yeah, forty three quid. But again, we're talking about nine samples, and what we're talking about there is, you know, having a look at the. Now, I can tell you, oh, that you have something in Netherlands as well. Millstone <clears throat> rye, nice. Yeah, so, so hopefully we've got. Uh, look, we've got the guys at McMara, Paul John. Uh, Millstone are, are, are all involved. We've now, we've now just got um, the, the, they're involved as in they're going to be presenting as well. So they're presenting their, their, their whiskies. We've also got Belgrove from Australia, I believe, is now going to be presenting. Um, so it's nice. It's, oh, who's that, Tina? Yeah, yeah so cool. hey, Tina. Look, I hadn't talked about that yet because I wanted to kind of leave that to the end because it is the last. Um, so we're open with Cologne. We opened the festival with Cologne and we closed the festival with two stacks. Two Stacks is a is a Northern Irish um, company uh, who are delivering um, Irish whiskey to the states at some point. Okay. And what was meant to have happened, Jason, was that these guys were meant to have re released their liquid already and be selling to America. And oh, that all, COVID kind of. Uh, mm. COVID knocked that on its arse. We have a real issue there. So what they did was smart guys, guy called uh, you know guy called Liam. Um, and we've got Shane. These guys were smart enough to say, "Do you know what? Let's launch it at Belfast Whiskey Week. Let's put it. Out, let's put it out there. We'll launch five actual products at Belfast Whiskey Week. Not on the market. Not anywhere else at the moment. And they're going to launch all five. They are superb. I mean, join. I'm wondering whether or not I have the list here. Two. I'm not sure if I do have the list." But oh, actually, I do. Two seconds. I think I wrote it so down. So they source their whiskies from some place, either double or triple distilled. Then, right? <laughs> well, yeah, they're they're actually, which is more interesting. That they're, they're manipulated properly, manipulated. So we're using ah. they're using um, they're using lots of different types of uh, woods, um, and I'm just trying to see if I if I wrote them down. I'm not sure if I did, but I'm going to have that list will be updated. Okay. But what I would say is. You, you really want like if, they're, if, they're, like, if I'm going to tell people to go to any tasting, I'm going to tell them to go to Connet yep. because I think that you would be mental not to take a Connet tasting. That would just be why would you miss the chance to, to taste you know the first ever whiskey coming out of a distillery and it not be tasted before? So there's the first one, and the second one I think would be two stacks. I know there's only six tickets left for that. They 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 they, they are they they're at ticket allocation. Um, Got to a point and I said, listen, you might want to release some more tickets. So their ticket allocation has increased, but they only have about six tickets left. But what I would say is there that that stuff that's coming out, experimental. And I really do mean that it's experimental stuff. So the woods they're using are very experimental. Mm -hmm. And and what we should know from that is that the taste profile and then um, opens up uh, different types of tastes for, for everyone. There's something in that selection for everyone. 
but really nice for them to do that. I know then it's going to go to the States at some point. So when, if we have guys from the States tasting uh, the tasting those whiskeys, they're going to be there. You know, they're going to be coming out. Um, right. They might come to Europe. I'm not sure. Maybe Liam and, and the lads will talk about that during the presentation. Okay. But um, I don't know, Jason, did you notice? Um, we, <laughs> it's very no, it's actually it's a hard one to explain to anyone from Germany. But have you ever heard of the, the, the wine here called Buckfast? No. Nope. Yeah. So it's very... You know, the the UK the UK is not. Thank you very much, Tina. Oh, that's very okay. Tina, we, so that, that would be number six for her, by the way. Yes, uh, Tina's doing already. Tina's doing really well. I'm actually going to have to drive to Germany just to hand this off to her. I think. <laughs> um, but She's but, in Berlin, so who knows? It's worth wow. it. Wow, wow. Um, no, we we we. We're, I suppose the UK and Ireland aren't famed for Irish, but uh, for for uh, for wine production. Not, not really. No. <laughs> But they, they, they have a thing here, it's called tonic wine. So it's made by monks, or was made by monks in an abbey. It's kind of traditional. It's very, very cheap. It's a cheap alcohol, cheap wine, fortified wine. But anyway, it's got a big, massive f culture following. Everyone, you know, everyone when they're younger drinks this. It's one of those, like, rituals when you're a teenager. It's a Jägermeister you know, for Ireland, yeah? <laughs> my friend is Jägermeister, 100% for the UK, and the north of Ireland, mm -hmm. and gotcha. potentially the south. But uh, so basically, right, I took four uh, four of those beautiful uh, Hungarian oaks, you know, the wee two litre Hungarian oaks, and uh, thanks for watching, Tina. Uh, and uh, and I filled I filled them, I seasoned them with uh, Iron Brew. You've heard of Iron Brew, Jason? Yes, I know Iron Brew, yes. Uh, <laughs> your national drink. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Seasoned one with Iron Brew, seasoned one with rum. Season one with gin, and a season the other with uh, WKD Blue. I don't know if you've come across that, but it's like a kind of fizzy pop drink. Okay. Anyway, with vodka, and uh, so I seasoned it for about three week, three weeks, and then I took that out, and then I seasoned the barrel again with Buckfast. So this tonic wine for three weeks. Okay. And then I took that out, and we've bottled that for the festival. But not only that, but we've also then put in a uh, thirteen-year-old uh, cast strength Bush Mills into those casks to get the to get the flavor profile from the buck fast off it so yeah so very experimental great crack and you know we, we've had a lot of people um who know that product want to taste that product because of how uh how I, i've never seen from. this before in my life so there uh, you go of course you have here <laughs> the uh <laughs> oh there you go the, the yeah, first you know, play, exactly so it's just like okay coronavirus <laughs> scotland <laughs> That's it. You see that? You see that? That's what it's all I about. I understand. Okay, good, good. So it's, you know, so it's culture. You know, it's culture. Yep. And what we've done is, you know, we've got, we've got, you know, we, we've got a, a following. We actually, we actually pre-sold that. Um, and we had about 20 people take up tickets because they knew the nostalgia point from it. They knew the, gotcha. what it was going to be and how much fun it was going to be. And uh, we, when, when we came to, when we came to bottling it yesterday, we actually got a buck fast drinker. So you can, you know, we, the people who just drink Buckfast, we got them to taste them, and and they could tell us the the, the taste differences from the cask influence. So actually, the, the story about the cask influence is huge for me, because it is about people. A lot of people talk about terroir, and I think that's super important. A lot of people also have to talk about cask influence. Yeah, and I think that you get the cask influence story quite specifically from the likes of Dark Gaelics. You know, you yeah. get that from those from those bottles. But you definitely get it when you start experimenting yourself. No, I mean when you can mess about with uh, with product, you you're get you're getting them. Here, I'm just noticing we have I haven't even had the drink yet. Yeah, really exactly. Do. So I passed you know, uh, Bush Mills, and you have here the the friend at hand. So tell me about yours. Yeah. Well, okay. So I'm a bit jealous. Yours is a sixteen year old Bush Mills. I'm jealous. Sixteen year old Bush Mills. This, my friend, is uh, the friend at hand, which is we look. We are supported directly by a guy called Willie Jack. That that would mean nothing to a lot of people, but for me it means a lot. Willie Jack is a he owns he owns bars and he owns the friend at hand. He, he's a businessman, an entrepreneur, and he's a whiskey lover. Not only is he a whiskey lover, he doesn't drink very much whiskey, but he's a whiskey lover. He's a whiskey whiskey enthusiast, and he's a collector of all things to do with Irish whiskey. Massive collector. I would suggest that the three main bars that he owns that's the Duke of York, the Dark Horse, the Hart Bar. The three largest, uh, you know, whiskey bars and, and and the likes within uh, Belfast specific, 
are like little museums. Jason, yeah. if you ever walked into these into these bars, you would be out. You, you just would be in awe. And I'm telling you that you are, you would be in awe with the amount of alcohol from 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 the last 100 years of Irish whiskey and the amount of memorabilia and that from anything from glassware to posters to some of the most expensive mirrors I've ever seen. Yeah, I was going to say the mirrors, yeah, the know, Irish whiskey mirrors. mirrors. <laughs> so he has the he has the original. This is how interesting, you know. Bush Mills used to be, uh, they had their offices uh, right above one of his bars. Used to be, Bush Mills used to have their, their uh, Northern Irish office used to be in Belfast and uh, on Hill Street. And he has a mirror in there. And the mirror in there is the rarest Bush Mills mirror I've ever seen. And um, it's, I would say it's nearly priceless. I don't think you can put a price on it. But if I was putting a price on it, if I put a price on it, 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 it would be, uh, it'd be, Oh, it would be maybe a hundred thousand, something like that. Wow. It would be, okay. it would be, because of the type of mirror it is, it's the, first of all, it's one of the original mirrors that Bushmills would have ever produced. But it's the head office mirror, and it says head office on it. Oh, and okay. Your bottle there will say sixteen oh eight on the bottle. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, it says sixteen oh eight here. Yeah. <laughs> so on the mirror, on the mirror though, on the mirror it says seventeen eighty four. Ah, the real date. <laughs> so the real date, and it, and 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 the mirror itself has, I love it. The mirror itself uses copper. It uses mother of pearl. It's using proper product within the mirror itself. So, look, the guy, the guy's a custodian of Irish history, Irish whiskey history and heritage. What he then did was produce these friend hand bottles. There's about th there's going to be thirteen of them, and they're they're all thirteen years old. They're all 13 year old Bushmills liquid. This one has been finished in a, in a sherry cask and it's called Girona Gold because of the ship that smashed up uh, off the North Coast and, and, and all the, the, the gold uh, and, its, and its jewels were, la were, were lost at sea. But um, this 13 year old at 46%, so I'm telling you something. Is this the right picture? This is the That's bar? it there, my friend. That's it there. Look at that. That 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 my friend is the is the is That the really shop. is amazing, isn't it? Think it, isn't it? it? Do you know what? That's the shop and um Unreal. Unbelievable. Unreal, yeah. But like I'm I'm gonna pour this. What I would say is this stands up against the sixteen year old Bush Mill. <laughs> which one uh, which one do you have? There's uh, how many additions do we have here? Are we one, two So there's three So there's nine at the moment. Uh, keep going, keep going. So you got number going. six at the moment. That's me. That's me there. Yeah, the Girona Gold. Number yeah. six here. All right. Very yeah. good. Only available to buy in the friend at hand. So I have to go to the bar to buy it, right? Yeah, that, that's the thing. I mean, I think like, he doesn't do online. There's nothing online from the friend at hand. So they have their own red breast uh, single cast. There's the power yeah. single. There's the red breast. Yeah. They have their own, they have their own uh, single cast. You can't buy it anywhere other than the secondary market because he only sells from the shop, you know? <laughs> and um, it's great. This this is this 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 stands, this stands up with the um with the uh the the section of bush nose you're drinking you know yeah. I'm sure it is that's great look at that look at that window see that can you see that display yeah wow. every bottle look at those old yeah. bottles yeah so most of that is uh most of that is uh whiskey from pre nineteen sixty yeah most of it you know um there's a lot of whiskey in there from the the old Middletons. Um, you know, you could you, it'd be very hard. It would be very hard you for you to, yeah, look at that. It would be very hard for you to value the, the product. But I think we, we valued it. I went around and I, I tried to do a evaluation and it, you know, my, if you were just buying the bottles, you know, and it would take you yeah, you could take you into the million yeah, easy. Definitely. You know. And it and it's stuff that you just he he's very good insofar as that he you know he, he does that, he collects stuff, but he's bad in so far as that that's as far as it will go. It won't be drunk. <laughs> so we that's the only difference of opinion I think we've ever had because I, I would suggest that look, there's me cracking open a thirty year old powers for the festival. Whereas whereas I know if Willie had that thirty year old powers, it would be in the museum and it'd be getting kept. <laughs> that's the only difference. The the love is still there. We both love it. We both have appreciation. He just sees that the, his, the history of it has to be kept and it has to be talked about and it has to be shared. Whereas my is, history has to be kept, but I have to share the liquid. Let's not be, uh, let, let's not be, uh, let's not be frightened 
to taste to, to taste it. But no, I'm loving this. This is you know if, if you're a sherry, you know if you mm -hmm. love your sherry, I do. I do. You like Bushmills, my friend. Forty-six percent <laughs> purely sherry finished. This is great. This is the this is the bourbon at the start. You get that beautiful vanilla, but then that beautiful spice, and it's not it's not rocket spice in your mouth. It's a very very it's a very very um, soft spice on the tongue, flattens mm. out, goes down the back of your throat, nice and warm. That's that that's lovely. No, it's really good. Like. Fabulous, fabulous. All right, so Paul, we have ten minutes left. So what wow. are we going to talk about in the last ten minutes? Your decision. What haven't you said that you still want to mention? Do you know why? Do you know what? We, we can talk a lot about Bell Pass Whiskey Week and everything else, but Jason, I want to talk about, and I want to talk to your audience. I really just want to talk to your audience, and I want to, I want to, first of all, I want to say I'm really humbled, first of all, to be allowed to come on and talk to anyone. You know what I mean? I, 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 Tomorrow I know what you're I, with the Whiskey Novice on his I'm channel, Jim, so that's going to be I'm great with Jim. with Jim. I'm with Jim as well. And do you know what? I just feel honoured, and I tell you why. Because we've got a lot of people in Ireland. There's a lot of people in the south of Ireland who are whiskey bloggers, or they're whiskey, you know, they have their own shows, just like yourself, Jason. They have their own, you know, YouTube channels. They have their own uh, conversations. And yet, I've been on with Serge, fair play. And Serge has been a supporter of the, the Whiskey Week. And he's been a supporter of the Whiskey Club. He, he, you know, he's a member of the Whiskey Club, even though, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> there's Serge again. But, he, he, you know, he's a member of the club. He used to live in Belfast. He used to come, you know, regular to the club. And and I've been also on with Matt Healy, uh, based out of Boan, and is again, he came up, he came up to the festival last year, not yeah. as a, not as a anything to do with a distillery, but on you know on his own back to take mm -hmm. part. So the two of them, I've been on with them, but actually everyone else I've been on with or spoken to has been outside of Ireland, and I think that says it all. That That's we, a shame, isn't it? Well, it, it does. You know, can I? I would love to hear. I would love to speak more. To, to the guys in Ireland and in the South and make them aware of what's going on. Because you know what? They, they, they need to be, they, they need to see this as something on their doorsteps, not me. But I want them to say thank you to your audience. So anyone who's who's listening to this from Germany or across Europe. Or thank, the States. <laughs> or the States, 100% to the States, because you know, we, we're, we're happily getting them, people in the States, happily get them involved. And we, we see this as being something which we want people to come physically and see Belfast in, in years to come. That's great. But we want to showcase that just now. We have the prime opportunity as a billboard for Belfast Whiskey Week going forward that we can do that. And I think that if we can reach as many people as possible just now and we can talk to them and we can have them on board and they get involved, Jason, that's what it's all about. And I genuinely appreciate this opportunity to come here and talk to that audience because you know what? It's, it, it's a godsend, you know, I don't have my own channels. I don't have my own, um, you know, uh, you know, um, programs that I can go out and speak to. So it's great to have people welcome me on board. Uh, and I just hope that I hope that the, the audiences that are listening, whenever I do get the chance, that they take on board. There's still, Jason, I would say as well with uh, with Serge. I know he keeps on popping up, but we you know we ran a competition with Serge, and it goes on for another goes on for another couple of uh, weeks. Uh, and it, oh, sorry, at least an hour a week. And it's like we've offered out there. One prize, all you have to do is share a couple of pages, but it's one prize for all the liquids that are involved in the festival. That's one prize for every 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 whiskey in the festival. That's that's the number one prize. But what we'll do for yourself, Jason, is I'll offer you the same uh, kind of thing. I'll offer you a prize for. I'm going to give you a prize that you can put out to your participants for your uh, for your audience, and it will be you know one of the tasting sets, and we'll make sure that we can get that out to whoever it is that wins. And I, and I think that you guys deserve that. Um, I would say the last exclusive that I wanted to give you, I, said, I was going to give you a couple of exclusives. So I told you about Cologne. Yep. Boom. And they're going to get a Boom. new taste. There's going to be another taste. I tasting. love Brendan. Brendan's so cool. I love. Isn't he? Just being it's with him. Hey. Yeah. But no, no. A ball of no. energy. <laughs> Listen, do you know what? We, 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 as a club at the moment, have had 10 online tastings in the last couple of months. Right? So we've done 10 tastings in, in about... In about um, nine, ten weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's been great fun. You know, it's been great crack. And uh, and he's been part of just about every one of them. <laughs> and it is good fun. But he is... Do you know what's really good about that, Jason, is that having people who are in the industry and in your club talking to you about the products that, yes, other people might be producing as well, and to be, to be um, informed 
by those types of people who are making the whiskies, who are delivering on the whiskies, who are you know being ambassadors for their their brands. That's been super important. Yeah. But no, the last exclusive I'm going to give you is we're going to have another. Um, there's going to be a separate red breast tasting. So Ooh. our red breast tastings have sold out. They sold out within minutes. We sold out of the red breast um, family, which is the 27, the 21, the 15, the 12, 12 year old cast strength from the Lestal that sold out. And then we sold out the dream casks versus uh, red, uh, sorry, green spots. That's three. That's a red red breast dream cask with uh, two um, single casks versus three green spot single casks. We're going to open up and we're going to up, up, up another red breast dream cask tasting. So that's an exclusive to you. That will be going online uh, later on. No one knew about that. We, we've just decided to do it. It will be very limited to tickets. And it'll be limited to, as to what's being drunk, but it'll be good fun. And we'll definitely make sure that people uh, really appreciate it. So it's going to include, I think it might include an old Jimison. It's probably going to include, it's not just going to be Red Breast. It's going to include um, Jimison, maybe some old Bush Mills, maybe some you know, some older product uh, and more exclusive product, you know. And oh, you're yeah, from the Palace Bar as well, the Green Spot. Interesting. Yeah, very so nice. it's a shame. I think that, that one's sold out. Um, and that's very unfortunate because, see, see to be honest, that's great value for money. And yep. I tell you, you know, uh, it's, it's the Palace Bar Green Spot, it's the Mitchell Green Spot, and it's the, um, oh, the Whiskey the Exchange. Hand, 25 year old as well. Hand, 25 year old, yep. Um, wow. And it's still, it's still exclusive from, uh, from, from, uh, from the, the, the Jimison Distillery. So, yeah, Middleton Distillery, sorry. So, yeah, so great. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron, how are we? Listen, you know, thank you, genuinely, Jason, thank you so much. Um, if there's a question you want to ask me, fire away, go for it. I'll be very honest. I will, there's no, there's no messing about here. <laughs> Anything you want. Now, two questions real quick. Who's filling up all the samples? You or the people that actually do the um, the live streams? Yeah. So no, uh, the actual samples. We, are, we, we what we did was we agreed with all the distilleries to send all the product no, to so Eklund. The bottles the and you filled them up. So yeah. how many so the, how many samples in total will you have? Is it three and a half thousand or more? No, seven and a half thousand. I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> so seven and a half thousand. We're, we're looking at about two hundred and fifty bottles of whiskey. Yeah. Uh, give or take, uh, or seven. Sorry, seven hundred fifty unique bottles of whiskey. Yep. Mm -hmm. About seven and a half thousand bottles. We're looking at boxes of about you know about thirteen hundred if we if they all mm -hmm. sell out about thirteen hundred give or take. You know, so a lot of work. And you know yeah. we've got great we've got a great staff team. You know Dick Jarth has picked up some great staff to help us do that. So yeah, that's all been done in house. We're also using Irish whiskey auctions uh, through Anthony mm -hmm. uh, Irish whiskey auctions to help do some of the distribution work. So anything that goes outside of um, outside of Ireland goes through them. You know, so we're making it. You know, we're, we're making a conscious effort to involve people. A lot of transparency, not a problem at all to talk about things, um, keeping it real with people uh, like yourself. You know. Very good. And the second question that I had is, um, what tasting are you looking forward to the most? If I get a ticket for it, um, if I get a ticket for it, that's a good, that's a question. Um, wow. I, I 100% I'm going to say Connet, and I know why, right? And that's so easy. It's because I just want to, I haven't tasted it. No, no one's tasted it. So why wouldn't I taste it? You know what I mean? That, 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 that. That, I that's actually have a barrel there. I have, a, I have a, I bought a barrel already by Connor. Oh, really? um, so I'm no, looking forward go. to that as well. <laughs> there you go, because I tell you what, I, I, I'm a massive, do you know what, I was a massive fan of what they did in terms of their expressions. I like the way people can manipulate whiskey. It's hard to destroy a good whiskey. <laughs> and they did some good stuff. Their Speed and Bushel 10-year-old yep. cash strength was great. Their, uh, and their new stuff has been fantastic. So yeah, their the double... was really nice. Yeah, Armory, yes. Well, mm -hmm. well there's some... There's some. I was going to say there's some interesting <laughs> stuff in the in the festival that uses that cask, mm. or that type of that type of cask. But thank you. Well, Paul, thank you very much, um, for being here. I put the links in here. Um, here's the Facebook group about the Belfast Whiskey Week. If you, you. Um, actually type in Belfast Whiskey Week, you're um, sent over to Eventbrite where you have all the stuff there that you can take a look at. We've looked at a lot of those tastings already. Many are actually sold out. A few will still be arriving. And so, um, oh, look, Norbert just dropped by. Good to see you as well. Um, well and Tina, Tina actually participated in the cast purchase. Connected, wow. So she actually has a share on that. And that's very, very interesting.
Brother. All right, Paul, thank you for being my guest. It was a pleasure talking with you. And I would just uh, like to say thank you very much to all the people who watched this, either in the replay or live here. Um, it was a pleasure. Last words are yours. No, Jason, thank you. Genuinely, and thank you to the audience for, for caring. And listen, I hope to see you soon at some point. But yes, during the festival will be great. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.